The director of Nevantia India took part in a roundtable discussion on submarines with the Indian naval industry, during which it presented its SAT Plus class submarine design for the $6.3 billion contract for P-75I next generation submarine program of the Indian Navy. Nevantia has said that the first of the four SAT submarine being built for the Spanish Navy has passed first safety milestone power-up activity tests, which is done to check the submarine's correct operation with all the integrated equipments, and the submarine is expected to be delivered in 2021. Nevantia has stated that the 3,200-ton submarine has a range of 8,000 kilometers, and its 300-kilowatt bioethanol processor-based air-independent propulsion system will allow the submarines to operate underwater for 21 days. The SAT baseline is the closest to the requirements of the Indian Navy, and as it meets all technical requirements, Nevantia is working towards indigenization of major equipment and materials and transfer of technology options. A DRDO official has said that the development of the extended version of the Pinaka rocket is nearing completion, which has already been tested for a range of 75 km and 90 km in 2019. The DRDO had tested the 47 km range enhanced Pinaka Mark 1 rockets last week, and even though the enhanced variant will soon replace the existing Mark 1 rockets in the Indian Army, Officials have said that all the variants including the older Pinaka Mark 1, Enhanced Pinaka Mark 1, Pinaka Mark 2 and the extended range rockets will coexist in the Army's inventory. The Indian Navy chief has said that India has the opportunity to export ships and boost its maintenance repair and overhaul services in the Indian Ocean region, and a partnership model can be explored between the Indian industry and other countries for construction of corvettes and patrol vessels. Around 70 ships from 40 countries are regularly operating in the Indian Ocean region, and most of the ships are far away from their home countries, and Indian shipyards can conduct periodic maintenance and repairs of these ships. Russia's top defense export body Rosbaron Export has marked its 20th anniversary, and has expressed its readiness to give India technology for production of defense equipment, as it has always worked together with Indian authorities for licensed production of various Russian defense equipments. Rosbaron Export has said that the local production of AK-203 rifles will benefit 100% indigenization, and while both sides have agreed on the technical configuration of the rifle, the project is still to be launched due to the absence of the production contract. Rosbaron Export has also said that the AK-203 has the potential to meet India's export ambitions. Chinese scientists have recently developed an exoskeleton system weighing only 4 kilograms, that is specially designed for high-altitude regions, and the equipment is expected to conserve around 10% of soldiers' energy during patrolling and logistics support. A number of non-powered exoskeletons have also been delivered to the Chinese army for operations in high-altitude regions. The DRDO has started collating data for simulation and analysis of Moscow skeletal parts, and even the Indian private sector companies are doing research and development for exoskeleton suit design for the Indian soldier, which will be customized according to the different environmental challenges. Oh,